my dear foster friends this is needle ninja welcome to my channel today i'll be moving uh, q-snaps from a heaven and earth design super sized project which calls a large world travel bookshelf by amy stewart and i can show you all of my progress till now it's about 20 something pages and then we can have a little stitch with me time together so hope you can enjoy Here we go. Let me try open it slowly. So, da -da 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 -da. yay! Yay! I didn't see it for a long time. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I really enjoy this moment when, even if it's just for a short time. Oh, it's beautiful when I can see the things I used to look at for a long time. Oh, it's beautiful and it's so soft. So, yeah, you cannot see it till the end. But, well, yeah, there is a India. There is a Russia. I'm so happy. Let me take some pictures of it. Oh, it's so lovely. So actually, this is a 20, 20 something pages, almost. It's like, you know, 20 and half and half. So it's actually 21 pages. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Isn't it? Okay, and now I'm done and all the beauty is hidden again for a while it's actually huge I have perfectly white stitching area I'm sure I can do like four pages without the moving acute snaps and actually I forgot how lot of work it it, it is actually changing the Q snaps and yeah, these are my ribbons. Most of you know what I'm doing with them. If you don't know how I work with them, there will be video in description, okay? So please check it out. And this part is actually huge and wide, so I hope it will fit my, 
You know, this kit, this this clamp. I have to open it pretty wide. So, and then I have to grid it, and because there is a blue mark which I can see here, so I'm definitely using this water erasable markers. So I need to grid that. And so yeah, just see how huge this is. There is a like big baseball <laughs> fabric in here, but it doesn't bother me because it's sitting in my lap. So I just hope this part will fit the clamps. Okay, so I think we're ready for the stitching. So let's have a fun. No, I just made a mistake. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It means that my first grid line is already one stitch low, so all of these lines are bad. So I have to erase it. Here comes water. So actually I end up with redoing this because it didn't fit my clamp even this wide. That's why I have to take it off everything and the things I did was like I have to, you know, how can I explain? I have to fold these, this fabric a little bit more into the you know inside of the stitch stitch stitchy area because first I had it really thick so now if I squish it and I have it a little bit under this but I'm sure I will be okay I will not catch it with a needle here so this is a second second try and yeah but actually it worked better I think so finally, yeah, you did see that I messed up with my gridding, maybe if I put that video there, but I'm good here and this is enough grids for today. So let's go for stitching. Oh, this was harder than I thought, but I'm ready, finally. So now you can see all of the pages that need to be done that's 150 pages to go so let me zoom in and we are stitching on page 11 and I don't want the uh, pages breaks bother me so I will cut it and let's zoom in will be I will go I will use my snake method so I need to see like 23 4 mm, grids uh, no holes okay so we're good here and because this is the top of the page and as you can see in the first uh, 20 by 10 block there is just few colors so and I have these two Mm, stra uh, two, two, two colors parked so if you can see this one it's a lot of colors so let's see this next one it's this one okay that's only one 
so in this particular part I will do something like not something like something like nothing but just mm, because there is a lot of colors and only one this so I will ignore my snake method and stitch this guy and find him in a in here so I'm done with this color for this block and I will not do this one but I will go for another color which is just a single color color number 798 okay and I will just stitch this color first and what will happen then I have one more color there this one come on this one I will stitch it and then I will just start to fill the blanks there so let me thread my needle And start with a loop start one two and one two three in here and park it one two one two three four right here Okay, let's go for this color. This is 796. So if I do this, actually, these few colors, the threads under, will be covered with the color that there is a plenty. And I don't have to check my pattern, I will just feather it a little bit over the grid line. This one, four and five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So this one done. And I see that there is one more, this color. Okay, maybe we should do this one too. 823. All of them dark blue or kind of blue. So I will start with this one here. this is the top row my ang 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 angle of camera it's really difficult difficult for me to see and I think difficult for you to see what I'm doing but bear with me we're going a little bit lower from now on so And I'm keeping it 
something they sorry. Always when I stitch the first uh, like a top rose, I always told myself like don't film the part when you stitch the top row because you cannot see and they cannot see but well because today is the day when I decide to do this and I forgot that that promise to myself I'm struggling now but hope you can enjoy it anyway at least a little bit And this has been actually two months I didn't stitch on this one so I'm back my dear bookshelf and I'm so glad I was waiting for the right moment because I wanna well there was a lot of uh, projects I need to do but other than that, I was really, I wanted to do this moving things with you guys. Okay, we're done with this one. And so now we're free to not even look. So I think I can kill my pattern keepers and maybe give you a full screen but I don't know how can you see so I will just stitch like you know row by row and I will do a little bit feathering and you can see in a pattern keeper that I can go whatever feathering I like to do because there is see there is just this this color it's a sky top of the sky so let's go for it enjoy and and well hopefully next time when I will bring no when I will bring when I will try to do a stitch with me I'll be in here somewhere in the part where I will not cover the camera with my hand and you can see better so for today just let me stitch for a little bit more and I hope you hope you like something in this video if not I'm sorry I will try to do better but I'm really happy that I saw the whole my whole project today whole 20 pages it actually might look like nothing but well it's been almost no I have to I have to check the date but I think it's more than two years journey so and a lot of the time you you been with me through the journey and I'm really enjoying this one and this I know this will be my life life project if I ever finish it but yeah I want to even I'm sure I'll be stitching on this one if I'm still alive when I'll be big old lady and I just hope my eyes and hands are working
this is a dark color maybe I should use a three strand for this one because as you can see it's already making a little bit showing the white fabric under so I'll just pull my needle out and separate the threads and hope for a little different difference let's see mm. not so much difference so let me finish this thread with you let's see how far we can go Why did I leave this one unstitched? So um, I hope I will not forget that. That's just there is no meaning of me doing that. So stitching with a single color half stitch, it's really fast. Can you tell? I have to do 170 pages just with a single, co single color. I'm definitely not gonna. I'm going to quit really soon. So, this is fun for, for some time, but then. Comfy. Yeah, that's an interesting part. So I'm going to end my thread here and how I do that lately um, I just pull my thread under like seven or ten rows so let me do this last stitch here uh, maybe two more one more because okay so I will pull it somewhere here that's a good enough length so my thread is actually under here and I used to do the diagonal line and then pick the thread like you can see here here but what I do lately is just I pull this thread and I cut it like three millimeters and you know, while I'm working, or while I'm stitching, row by row, this thread will be covered and this end will be pulled under. So I think this is the easiest way of how to end the thread on the full coverage pieces. But if you're worried that this might go somewhere crazy under, don't do this. But I know that I will not move this fabric and I will be gentle with, you know, moving my project. So, till I don't touch it, it will stay like this. And when I will start to stitch, it will go inside. 
Okay, so hope you guys liked something in my video today and I hope you like how this project is, well, getting better and better and beautiful. So hope to see you soon. Wishing you a beautiful week. Well, it's a Sunday evening here, night actually. So, and happy stitching my dear friends. See you soon. Bye.